Hi, my name is Andrea. Welcome to Favela Fundamentals. Today, I'm going to show you how to use an oscilloscope. So let's get started. Here we have the oscilloscope. I'm gonna, you can turn it on with this power button here. And then in this case, I'm going to be using a function generator, which is this one. So I'm going to turn it on. There's a whole different video on how to use a function generator. So if you, if you want to use it, then please watch the video. Um, so here we're going to wait for them to boot. Um, okay, so here in the function generator, I'm going to be using a frequency of one megahertz, and then I'm going to change the amplitude to five volts, uh, peak to peak, like that. Here you can see how the, the signal is supposed to look. So this is what it's going to look in the oscilloscope. Um, now I'm going to connect the coaxial cable to the function generator, the output, and then I'm going to be turning it on with the, this button. So then the other end of the coaxial cable is going to be connected to channel one of the oscilloscope here. So this oscilloscope has four different channels, um, one, two, three, four. They all have um, different colors. So channel one is yellow, channel two is blue, channel three is pink, and channel four is green. You can see on the, on the display, they're also displayed in the, in the colors that they're assigned. Um, so yeah. Here with these knobs, you can change the position on the vertical axis. So here, if I go um, clockwise, they go up. Counterclockwise, they go down. And then if I press, this, the, press the position button, the, the knob, um, they go all to the center like that. So they're all going to go um, to the origin. So I'm going to just turn off the channel 4, channel 3, and channel 2 just for just to show you the channel one, which is th this one. Um, so if I want to scale uh, up, so you see how this um, over here, it's changing. So this means that it's 25 millivolts per division. So this is one 25 millivolts. Now I'm going to turn on um, the channel and the function generator. Um, so then after this, you see it's a little crazy. So I'm going to click auto set. And then in auto set, you can see the, the signal. Um, so now here you can see that it's a five volts peak to peak. So that matches what we have in, in the function generator. Um, so now if I wanna change the scale, you'll see that it's gonna change here. So now it's 2.5 volts per division, which matches what we thought like, this is 2.5 volts, this is 2.5 volts. So if you add them, it's five volts. Um, now you can also change the position up and down, like I mentioned earlier, and then I'm going to go back to the center and then to move the horizontal axis, you're going to be using this knob here. You see it says horizontal. So if I go, um, clockwise, it starts shifting to the right. If I go counterclockwise, it starts shifting to the left. Now you can also, um, press the knob and it's going to recenter. Now you can also, as for the vertical axis, you can also change the scale for the horizontal one. So if I go um, clockwise, the, this number here is going to decrease like, like that clockwise, then counterclockwise, it's going to increase. So what does this mean? So right now it's 500 nanoseconds per division. So that's going to, that's going to be important because you have that on the, on the function generator. So here you can see it's one megahertz which matches what we have over here. This is a frequency, which is one megahertz. Um, so yeah, that is um, the basics of how to use the oscilloscope. Um, we're gonna be making different videos on how to use the oscilloscope for like measure, the cursor. Um, so there are a lot of different things you can do with the oscilloscope, but yeah, those are the basics. So yeah, thank you.